Hello, Form A. This is a tutorial on how to make your own luggage tag. <clears throat> First, after you log into Tinkercad, you will want to go up to Learn. You then click on Lessons here in the center. And then they come up four different things. And right here on the right hand side is Luggage Tag. So in this lesson, you will learn how to make a customized luggage tag using Tinkercad. So I'm going to start the lesson. All right. In this lesson, you will learn to design a personalized luggage tag or a backpack tag. Great. So I'm going to click on Next. It says, drag letters to the area highlighted in orange. Be as accurate as you want. If you need the same letter, more than once, just copy and paste it. So I'm going to not follow their orange instructions because I want it to be my own name. OK. Uh, and so for a luggage tag, it's really important to have not only um, your name, uh, your address, um, as well as a phone number that if someone found your luggage, they could contact you. All right. So I'm going to first bring in uh, Miller. So I'm going to bring in my M. Okay. And again, I'm not going to line it up with theirs just because I want it to be like so. And then I'm going to grab an I. And I'm going to grab an L. And another L. Oop, I need to copy and paste this. So I'm going to hit Command C and Command V or Control V and Control C that over. And then I'm also going to then grab an E. And then I'm going to grab an R. Notice I'm just doing my last name, because uh, then I could give this to um, someone else in my family that has the same last name. Doesn't necessarily have my first name, but it makes it a little more transferable um, going forward. So there I've got uh, Miller. I do want to check to make sure that these are aligned. Uh, and so if I select um, each of the the letters individually, then I can make sure that they are aligned. So I'm just clicking on each of them while holding shift. So now I've got Miller all set up. I'm going to go up to the align feature up here, which is the two blocks. And I'm going to make sure that those are all centered. And that makes them good to go. So I know that they're all centered in that way. I've chose that middle black button um, from it. So now I've got Miller um, set into my uh, luggage tag. After that, um, I need to put in my address. And in the instructions, uh, they can they ask you to put you know more information, your address, your street, you know all of those things. And I find that there is actually uh, a helpful spot uh, to be able to put um, these things. And it's using the text key uh, here in Tinkercad makes things a whole lot easier from this. So I'm going to actually move. I'm selecting everything. And I'm just going to move it down a little bit so that I don't have those uh, orange letters in front for me. OK. So I move that out of the way. So I still have Miller set up. But then over here in the right hand side, there's lots of different choices. And one of them uh, is text and numbers. And so here is the text key. And so I can grab text. And if I bring it out, it's huge. OK. But what is nice is that it can tell me I can type in whatever I want into this space, and it will change the text. So I live at 30. I live at 4202 38th. Street, Northwest, OK? And that's huge, right? There's no way that's going to fit onto a luggage tag. But what I can do is I can grab one of these top ends, and I have to hold the Shift key. I'm pressing Shift onto it, and then I can then drag it, and it will not change any of the proportion. Everything shrinks and goes at the same time. If I don't hold the Shift key, then it can do like all weird stuff. I can make it really tall and skinny, or I can make it short and fat. And I don't want to do that. That's you know no fun. So I'm going to actually undo that. And so again, I'm going to hold Shift. And this way, it proportionally shrinks it down to something that works out pretty well for me 
um, in general. And even then, if you notice, it's still uh, a little bit too tall. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. But I'm also, my street name is really, really long. So you know what you can do? Just grab the luggage tag here, and I can stretch it as long as I need it. So now I've got a nice place for my letters to go. All right, and so there they are. And you can see that they actually kind of stick up a little bit, and I don't want that to, to happen. And so I'm going to actually drop those down once I get all my letters in um, to make sure that they uh, meet. But that's using the Align tool, tool. All right, so there I've got 4238th Street Northwest. I'm actually going to retype and do Miller because I, I kind of like the font that that 38th Street is. So I'm going to get rid of these individual letters. And again, I'm going to grab the text here. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to copy, paste, and move this up to a space. And then in here, I'm just going to type in Let's do it in all caps just to make it stand out a little bit better. But there you can see I've got Miller. I've got 4202 38th Street Northwest. Now I need to include the city uh, that I'm in. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste uh, that text already. It's already you know a nice size for me. Make my life a little bit easier. And so now I'm just going to then type in Washington. Oops, I got to delete all this. Washington, comma, DC, 20016. And again, you can see, oh my gosh, I went even a little bit further. So I've got to make this a little bit longer so that my DC, Washington, DC, 20016 um, is going to fit. And I'm not sure why it showed up. Oh, it should be red. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it seems to be... It's not even there. Not sure why it's giving me that hollow look, but it should work out um, okay. And then the last thing that I need to do is I'm going to copy and paste my Washington, D.C., and I'm going to put a phone number uh, that someone could reach me at. And again, I'm going to type in my phone number, 617. Oops. Oops. Yeah. That's selected. That and I make it a 617-970-0044. So that is my telephone number for someone to reach me. Now, something that you may notice is things are kind of not really aligned really well. Like, you know, the Miller is kind of over to the left, the 4202. So I'm going to grab this text. I'm going to grab this text, I'm going to grab this text, and I'm going to grab my phone number there, all four of those uh, text things, and I'm going to align them. And so I click on the align feature, and so then I can make it nice and centered like that. So that centered uh, all of my text, uh, made it pretty nice. And I may move my 970, I just need to move that. I need to just select. The 970, bring that just down, down a little bit. So it doesn't interfere with my Washington, D.C. Um, so there it is. You can see that it's actually raised up just a little bit there um, above the, the, the fray. And so I'm going to actually align it and take all my letters here. And then I'm also going to take my 
luggage tag. So I've selected everything. I've selected the, the letters, everything, the luggage tag. I'm going to align all of them as well. And I'm going to bring them all down into it. And so now they kind of sink down into it, but they're still raised up. That allows that nice feature of them being down below just a little bit above the edge um, going forward. I can make everything red if I wanted to. It um, doesn't really matter. Um, so it looks pretty spot on. And so the very last thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to select everything. So I can just draw a big rectangle around it and I'm going to group it. So I've got my text, I've got my thing. And so now I've got Miller Washington all set to go. The last thing that I want to do um, is I'm going to delete all of those letters and get rid of it. And I should be then uh, good to go with my luggage tag. I'm going to hit next, add my information, finish clean up the work plane by deleting any unused letters, which we just did. And so congratulations, you have finished your luggage tag. I want to rename this. So I'm going to put J. Miller afterwards. Okay. All set there. 